Cheers, barbecuers. Just wanted to um, show you these massive pork ribs I got. So, got to be the biggest rack of pork ribs I've seen. I've been cooking pork ribs for a while and I've never seen nothing like it. So, pretty excited. I'm just going to show you a bit of prep on these too. So, I'll just angle these down there so you can see what we're doing. Yep, looks pretty good. All right. So, what we'll start with, hang on a second. So we'll just start um, trimming off some of this fat, hard fat down the end here from where the belly uh, starts. So we want to get rid of a bit of that. I'm not going to trim them too much because they've already been trimmed on the top, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Trim out as much of that hard fat as I can out of there. I am no expert by no means, but uh, this is kind of what I do anyway. So this is just for a bit of fun too. So living the barbecue dream. All right, I've got most of that off there. A little bit of rib tip in there, but that's all right. So now we'll move on to the uh, membrane. Like I always talk about with the membranes, fresh is best. These are fresh, never been frozen. Uh, they'll process this morning, so. If anyone struggles with their membranes and can't get them off and they wonder why, it's probably not the freshest product, so you can see how easy that is. Fresh is best, legends. Um, go see your local suppliers. I got these from General Meat Traders in Laverton, so shout out to those legends. I can't wait for them um, heading back in next week. They're going to hook me up with some something special again. So, you can see how easy it's coming off. There's no real work in it. Just get it under there, and once you get peel it back a little bit, get it started, it just runs. And always head towards the belly end, so yeah, towards the back of the pork. So there we go, they, they have been pretty well trimmed on the top. I'd like a little bit more meat on there for me, if that's me. So I've got Raul's rub here. I'm going to give him a bit of a sprinkle with that. Cheers, legend. Um, probably use some of that tomorrow too. We're heading up to the silos, hopefully, so... Just give them a light sprinkle on the back. Most of that will fall off anyway, so kind of jiggle it around a bit, get it to stick in there. You don't want it falling off on the tray. You may as well enjoy it in your belly. Alright, there we go. So that's the back side done. Now I'll give the heavy, uh, this top side a nice heavy coat. Trying to keep as much of it on the actual pork as it can. No point flavour in the tray. Alright. So that's it, I think. There you go, legends. They're all seasoned up. I'll let that um, sit in the fridge for a bit. I'll get rid of all that scrap. And... Um, I'll throw them in the pit shortly. Living the barbecue dream. Cheers, legends. I'll be using uh, good old honey bricks. So I'm gonna fire up the pit and load it up with some honey bricks and um, cook myself some ribs. Cheers, legends. Give someone a sausage.